turning the screws when something happens at 2 in the morning. And to tell you the truth, to, to, to me that's a business deal and I don't know the answer. So I have to look to Mr. Baldwin here to clarify. I believe you're referencing monitors, okay. if you want. The monitors uh, we're providing at this juncture, <clears throat> excuse me, however, if you look at the RFP, there's a segment, I believe it's uh, amendment, I think it's F. You want it? You have it. Don't you? Well, the project excludes the procurement and installation of monitors, but will utilize existing monitors already installed throughout the terminals. The FW may secure additional monitors in the future through a third party provider. Yes. <clears throat> All right, any more questions on Wi-Fi? None? All right. Look when you have a question. No? All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Kiwani. And thank you for that input. It's one of our good partners there for Barry on the case, you know. Uh, just some quick housekeeping. Um, if you didn't get an exit pass and you need to get it, please, I have a few here, and I'll just put them here so that we'll have access to them. Okay. Also, uh, we've referenced earlier that you may have some questions that need to be documented on those cards so that we can get those, take a look at them, and as we respond, we respond to everyone holistically. Okay. So just wanted to be a housekeeper. So up to this point, have we been informative in what we're talking about uh, the, from the next generation standpoint? Great, great. We have a great team. And um, before I go further, I would be remiss if I didn't uh, take a brief moment to acknowledge the fact that, you know, while you've met Felix and you've met Ali and John and, you know, um, let me just say, behind the scenes, you know, that's where it really, really happens. There are persons that are sitting from the sound of my voice that sit in a lot of meetings with us to ensure that what we've delivered throughout today uh, actually manifests, if you will. So um, can the DFW team just stand up and be recognized, if you will, please? We appreciate that. Okay. <laughs> We have Tila from our uh, concessions department. We have Dennis from our IT department, who worked on quite a bit of this yet. Mike uh, in the back here that uh, from IT that worked on quite a bit. We have Mike here also that uh, from concessions and our communication specialist that's kind of communicating all of this that you're receiving. That's the person that, that does this. And then uh, obviously you know Ali, and you got Dana Cassidy who's our manager of the uh, services category. So she's gonna to talk to us a, a bit later here as well. So just wanted to take advantage of that. And, uh, oh, Sarah's sitting over here. I see Sarah sitting behind this gentleman. Sarah Douglas is uh, with our, um, our uh, marketing department. She's the one that has, you probably have seen uh, 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 promotions or information through uh, RCR and, and different components like that. Well, that's by her effort, and so we appreciate her really tremendously getting the, the message out. So, great, thank you. All right. All right. We talked about this earlier, so I'm just going to kind of recap real quick. The expense for the, the Wi Fi and digital messaging content management will be borne by the selected company uh, to, for providing a turnkey solution install operation, it, I mean, it speaks to itself, so don't want to be labor it, but again, advertising on it, the system utilizing third party advertising or their brand, uh, provides their products, intellectual property, and or sponsorship branding on selected inventory that's designated uh, within the RFP. We want to make this a, a, an opportunity, and so that I can be crystal clear, this is an opportunity to create brand equity. This allows you to tell your story like you've never told it in an airport environment, okay? Who was the content brought by? Uh, I mean, tell us about your brand, educate the consumer, 
about your product, uh, if it's a, a consumer-based product, whatever that is, you need to tell your story, as we talked about earlier. That's what this opportunity is providing. Sponsorship branding opportunities. Video ads on 160 CNN monitors. We have these monitors throughout our airport, if you will. Uh, here's ceiling mounted. These are in our Skylink area. Um, so you get the opportunity to tell uh, the consumer about your product. Uh, again, 160 monitors, uh, that's, that's a pretty good program, if you will. Also, naming rights for two selected food courts for two years, okay? Now, this is a, a shot of a recently uh, updated food court that creates awareness of people walking down the concourse, the bright orange, if you will. But what if this is branded your concept? What if this has your brand identity? Does that create brand equity? <clears throat> Excuse me. So if you look at the demographics of our terminal, as I talked earlier about demographics, how many persons are passing by this on a day in and day out basis? How many persons are passing annually? So that's what this is uh, providing. This is in Terminal C. Now obviously with, our, with the advent of TRIP, uh, with the, uh, the rollout, the phasing, the reason this is two years is because this food court will go away. But for the two year period that it's in operation, the branding opportunity exists. Okay, advertising and sponsorship opportunities, uh, sponsorship branding opportunities in five select, select jet bridge interiors, or interior jet bridges, if you will, on the interior side. Let's look at this. You know, this is actually where the passengers are coming directly through. We actually did this, uh, it's pretty nice looking at high Italy. We actually did this uh, a couple years ago, and I just tell you, it was breathtaking getting off the plane and uh, making that entrance, and all of a sudden, the first one we did with was uh, one of our uh, advertising partners, I'd say, and I mean, it, you're talking about a bright awareness. It's, uh, it speaks volume. So, uh, five are available. Then, let's talk about, this is um, our Terminal D Skylink Up Escalator overhead panels. We've got uh, these overhead panels. Now, while you see the passengers going up the escalator, what you're not seeing, if I'm walking along here, the concourse, that's what I'm seeing. So these are uh, prominently displayed in Terminal D. They're humongous in size, and everyone captures it. So if that's your brand up there, um, look like the... Ben Jerry's. Oh, it's Ben Jerry's? Okay. I'm about to say look like the lady with a thousand kids. So, but pretty impressive, would you not agree? So there are two of those locations. Uh, we're talking about an attended advertising display in this space here. Now you got the airline clubs here, okay? But in this space here, an attended advertising display uh, or a comfy zone, a comfy zone, if you've been in our terminals, um, while you have the normal seating, the comfy zones, it says comfort, but we call them comfy, okay? The comfy zones, if you will, are uh, very uh, relaxed seating areas, uh, we're talking about having, in some cases, uh, maybe a, a monitor in, in some cases. Uh, that would be branded uh, whatever your concept is, your brand image, if you will, and your intellectual property. And uh, the people spend a lot of time in our comfort zones. I mean, it has been a, a big, big hit. So this is in uh, D21, uh, just, just down from center checkpoint, uh, uh, flow back and forth, if you will. Okay, entryway banners on International Parkway. So you come into the airport, right? Uh, or you exit the airport. These banners here. This one says, I'm trying to read it. Uh, yeah, valley parking available. But, but this is featuring our valley parking today. But again, such a tremendous presence right at the uh, mouth of the airport. Okay, <clears throat> C27 wall wrap. This huge wall wrap here, okay. You're coming off Sky Lake, and you're coming, uh, I'm gonna walk down this path here, that's what you're walking dead into. Uh, 
we did this, uh, and we, we had lights to, to, to showcase it, uh, not this particular one, but we did it with Accenture a few years ago. I mean, you're talking about uh, and a, a lot of um, the uh, auto companies and manufacturers utilize these and whatever, but a tremendous opportunity for display. Okay, Wi-Fi services page, okay? I have my brothers in here, my... This is our current uh, T-Mobile welcome page, if you will. And <clears throat> this is what it looks like on your cell phone. And they have uh, third-party advertising availability and whatever, but this is the Wi-Fi services page. So you would design that. And so that everyone knows, we approve everything from an advertising and branding standpoint and submit it and then reviews it and goes through with her process of uh, review criteria and then that's uh, oh, you know, made available. Okay, inclusion information listing on airport directories. So these directories here, if you will, talk about the airport, the different opportunities from services, from food and beverage and retail, you're listed on these as well, okay? Um, how many of these do we have? I'm sorry. Approximately? Count. About nine, twelve. Per terminal? Well, these, uh, it, these we have about. Okay. Well, there are quite a few. I'm sorry, I don't have that exact by the thread. Okay. But in all of our terminals, we have uh, the um, airport directories. Okay. The DFW website listing that um, uh, shows uh, uh, you'll be listed on the DFW website as well. Garage marketing, okay? So, very prominently displayed. Uh, actually, you're actually coming around and your car comes around, hit it right into that, that display, if you will. Now, I'll tell you that while this is uh, while wow, this is featured, excuse me, <clears throat> as a static, you know, the possibility of the next generation, if you will, that takes it to dynamic capability because of the fact uh, it's changeable at that point, new messages and what have you, quarterly, semi-annually, or whatever the case may be, or however that goes, there's the opportunity to look at this appropriately, okay? And by the way, we have what, four of those here? Yeah, we have them on, well, typically we have them at all the terminals that we I'm right sorry, now, we have three, Mike is saying three. Right now, Terminal right now. A has the huge one That's right. because it's closed. That's right, so we have four, but we got that large one, thank you. Right. Uh, our shopping e guide. Uh, this is something, I'm sorry, I'm in the way over here. But the shopping e guide is a handout, a brochure that we hand out. Uh, uh, to be featured in this as well. This goes to any passenger that like to get it. Um, here is a potential uh, shot that uh, could be in this, this particular guide. This, this is not in the guide today, but has a capability. So it's, a, it's an ongoing promotional opportunity. Brochure distribution at our 32 ambassador stations throughout the United States. States. <laughs> yeah. Throughout the airport, you know, sometimes you got to think big, you know. <laughs> so, throughout the airport. But our ambassadors, we have about 400 something ambassadors. 650. 650, okay, 650. And to be able to have access to them, providing that to the passengers with your information as well. Periodic distribution at the parking entry plazas. Obviously, we've come through the plaza. Uh, this is on a select bases as Sarah and her team, as they're doing uh, different promotionals and what have you, different promotions. There are limitations with it, but uh, being able to uh, incorporate that on a select given basis from a timing standpoint. All right, and uh, to kind of bring this home, if you will, uh, we need to talk about the proposal requirements. Now, I mentioned earlier that Dana Cassidy is our manager of services and, and amenities, and she's gonna come up and talk about some very uh, spe specific details with regard to the uh, proposal, and uh, then we'll get you guys out of here because we don't have time. Quick question, Mike. 
Okay, I'm sorry. All, all those assets there, those are carved out and part of this. I'm sorry. Are all those assets carved out and part of this solicitation? Yes. And not part of it. Clear 